The folks at Pepperdine University are taking a fresh approach to landscaping the campus grounds. KCAL 9's Ann Martin takes a look at today's In the Garden. In the Garden today, there's a new look at Pepperdine University, a wild and natural look as the Malibu campus returns to native plants on its hillsides. This is the Pepperdine campus everyone knows and recognizes, a sweeping expanse of green punctuated with pretty, though non-native, trees. This is where the university is taking a different approach to landscaping. The new 49-acre Drescher Graduate Campus is empty of lush vegetation. Instead, landscapers are integrating the upper campus back into the wild native hillside from which it was carved. Well, we needed to uh, insert the campus or incorporate the expansion of this campus into the Santa Monica Mountains uh, environmental area. Um, in a way that would be that would honor both, you know, the, mm -hmm. that would allow us to create a, a university campus and at the same time respect the native environment that we're we're in. When the rains finally come, these slopes will be replanted with native seeds. Until then, to stop erosion and rebuild soil, workers are laying bags by hand all over the graded areas. The bags themselves are biodegradable, and they're filled with soil collected by hand from this site seven years ago before grading began. That soil is mixed with composted chips from campus trees and then hand-placed on slopes and packed into rivulets that development left bare. This was one, a physical way of stopping that erosion and two, a way to incorporate uh, some organic material and some good topsoil into this soil profile so we could get those young seedlings to get started. So Rick, what you're trying to do is to get this little hill eventually to look like the beautiful natural green mountains behind it. Yes, that's exactly the goal is basically that this road would sort of be like a forest path through, a, through an existing forest. This urban forest is in the middle of a dangerous fire zone. We have native plants that are within our 200 foot uh, brush clearance zone, but we, we thin out the, the flashy fuels, which is of course a lot of the natives, mm -hmm. and uh, we give a lot of space. We try to give the firefighters that defensible space they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So we, it's kind of a conflicting uh, uh, dance that we do and we, we try to walk down the middle and have it safe for fire and yet still have our native mm -hmm. plants. There is a noticeable absence of irrigation pipes where the burlap sandbags are doing their slow job of soil formation. Once the native plants are re-established, there won't be a need for artificial watering. But where water is needed... We irrigate all of the campus with recycled water. Every drop that we generate as a campus, we recycle and that's not even enough for us. And we go get more. You can find out more about Pepperdine's Return to Natives project and see other In the Garden stories on our website, kcal9.com. By the way, this Pepperdine project is different than a normal landscaping job where you see results in 90 days. It's going to take about 10 years to see finished results at Pepperdine.